group, but there's technically two squads. Ah, uh, shit. Hold on. Hmm. I got a problem. Hey, buddy. Hey. Can you put your hands up, please? <laughs> Over my dead body. What? situation is looking rather grim and to win this battle is going to require a little change in strategy. The shotgun I have is no match against the, a player on the eastern tree line with a blaze scoped and uh, I don't have I really need to get close up to him to even have a chance. However this whole time I've been running he's firing his blaze and there's so many zombies in the base. Since I'm no longer shooting the zombies his aggressive sniping and shooting is going to attract the, the, all of the zombies in the base. The reason I didn't even try to hold up the guy after he tried to shut me up because there's just way too many zombies. Like I would have to shoot them all before I could even have a chance to tie him up and try to secure him. But with so many zombies causing chaos around the area, it actually saved my life. I didn't even try to tie him, tie him up. If I stood still, he probably would have shot me, but I'm also... Surprised that he didn't shoot me the blaze sniper didn't shoot me sooner But anyway, I was running across the base and I would try to do my best to lose the majority of the zombie aggro And then I would go for a counterattack. <sighs>
Having killed the player inside the officer tent, I honestly expected that this was, it had to be the sniper. I wasn't sure at for hearing all those revolver shots, but uh, once I heard him shooting his blaze, I knew for sure it had to be the sniper. I am a little confused though why the sniper went into the officer tent to shoot the zombies because, well unfortunately you can't really run past their dead bodies unless you re-log onto a server. I thought this battle was completely won, I thought this was all completely over. I could enjoy the spoils of loot, but unfortunately, I don't know if I can even get to that guy player's body. But uh, just to be sure, I'll, I'll try again. I'll see if I can get anything out of him. This time he's actually dead for sure, and uh, that was actually pretty much the conclusion to this battle. I tried to re-log and maybe, like, hopefully, like, I could get run move past the uh, dead zombie bodies, but unfortunately, his body disappeared, so I was not able to acquire a name or obtain his gear. But the player that held me up, I was able to obtain a lot of gear, got about 60 Winchester rounds, and I just made my trip up north. But overall... This scenario would not be possible if the three geared players in Zelenogors didn't gift me that 1911. Honestly, I thought they were just going to flat out kill me. But instead of killing me, they were friendly. And they just, uh, I told them that I'm going for Mishkino. And they're like, you know what, dude? You seem like a pretty cool guy. We'll give you this 1911 with a magazine. And I asked him, why are you giving me a, a 1911? I'm like, man, dude, we trust you. You sound pretty cool. So we'll let, we'll let you go on your way. And I was shocked. If not for that 1911, I would have not knocked out that heavily geared player, Mishkino. So even the smallest things can change a player's story. Thank you guys for the 1911. And thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time.